This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you. Is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled. Hour after hour. Tending our sick. Our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that, I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have filled our ark with books and seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books and encyclopedia we have in spades. But who now, when this terrible war is over, will teach us how to use them? Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, yeah. cannot be replaced. I go now to grieve in private. I suggest you do the same. Company dismissed. What are you doing out here? Gotta take a closer look. Gotcha. I gotta find a way inside. Come on. Who the hell's shooting? What the hell? Get in there. Almost out. Should have seen that coming.
use this. Taylor. It's Deacon St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? They're fucked up, man. They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to Hey, listen to me, <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. You kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. I don't want to. Please. Don't let them hang me. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Colonel, you asked to see me? Corporal. Yes, yes I did. 
Captain Curry says that you've been helpful dealing with marauders in the area. Just doing my duty, sir. A curious group of drifters have been spotted moving down Highway 97. Evidently, they came over the Tielsen Pass, which I thought to be impassable. Our patrol reported that they were scarred. The letters R.I.P. carved into their foreheads. Have you ever heard of anything like this? No, sir. Sounds like, sounds like another cult, like uh, the anarchists. Perhaps. Regardless, I want you to track them down and deal with them. We have enough to deal with. I don't need another cult springing up in our backyard. No, sir. Last thing we need is another crazy cult. I've marked their last known position on your map. Dismissed, Corporal. Colonel, I've spotted that uh, cult that you asked me to check out. I'm gonna deal with them. Colonel, reporting in. That, uh, that call. Corporal, stay safe out there. Corporal. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, for the militia. You know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Move back! Move back! Oh, yeah. We're in business.
That was a lot of goddamn waters. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Ethan, I presume. Uh, yeah? How you doing? Corporal. Buddy? Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Okay, here we go. Colonel, reporting is ordered. Corporal St. John, I'm hearing good things about you from Lieutenant Weaver and Sarah. Lieutenant Winnaker. They say you're doing a fine job. Well, thank you, sir. I'm just trying to be of service. I've got another job for you. Drifters have set up camp southeast of here along Highway 97. They're using hit-and-run tactics. They hit our supply runs, then run back to their camp, like the cowards they are. It appears they've created a defensive position on the rooftop of an old gas station. I've marked it on your map. I've consulted Captain Curry, and he feels it would be best to send in a single soldier, someone who works well alone, who might be able to use the element of surprise. Yes, sir, I can do that. Very good, Corporal. Report to me when the mission is complete. Dismissed. Want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid... newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts? Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Corey out. Oh, shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of those for two months. I need them for the site. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? I don't know, just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Nudes, I wonder if they got anything in there. Got you, little shit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Another bounty. Mm. Oh. You wanted a live one? 
You'd get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. No, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. I can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Shut up, Walter. Biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. <laughs> What you put in that. That shit went down fast. God damn it! But you're, you're you're not making a bioweapon. You're. Oh my god! Are you, are you are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale, that I could create antibodies for the virus, and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once. And she used to talk about the freakers the same way we do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way we do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer... Boozer, you know, he's, he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're gonna dig into their research deeper. 
do that? You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we're riding north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, the Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Sir, that shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How are you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. All right. I figured that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. 